Hello, I'd like to meditate with you today. Today's meditation is day nine of the meditation challenge. 30 days of meditation for 20 minutes every day on live on Instagram and live on Instagram and I'll be filming for YouTube so you can see this video after on YouTube. And we'll start by remembering what is meditation? Well, the basis of meditation is awareness and awareness is the knowingness, the thing in your mind that knows what you're doing, saying, thinking, or feeling at any given moment. So when you recognize your awareness in the present moment, then you're meditating. So I can recognize right now that I'm talking and I'm going to think about the intention of meditation, which is just to be happy, and free from suffering, and to wish that for all other beings in the world and in the universe. So after remembering all of that, we can bring our awareness to our posture. And just allow it to be comfortable, resting in a straight, but not too straight, not too rigid position, just relaxed and straight posture. Then we'll bring our awareness to anything that comes and goes in our minds, allowing it to flow naturally, without judgment, without expectation, just with awareness. Just allow it to pour out before you in your mind, <clears throat> allowing anything to come and go just for a few more mo moments. You can close your eyes or keep them open. It's your choice. And now that we've checked in with our mind and anything else coming and going in our senses, we can bring our, our mind to emotion, bring our awareness to emotion. Do you have any emotion right now? Positive, negative, or neutral emotions? Maybe you're feeling, well, I'm feeling anxious because I'm a little bit nervous for being on live and filming for YouTube. So there's always a little bit of nervousness. There's also joy there. Enjoyment. I, I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy being live. So there's definitely joy. And notice any emotions that you might be having. And try not to judge whatever's there. And if there is judgment, just allow that. Don't try to push anything away. Just watching. If there's any noises, again, don't push them away. Just allow them to be there as you look at your emotions. Maybe where they manifest in your body. Just noticing. I find my emotions 
feel present in my chest, in my shoulders, tenseness in my neck and in my tongue. I'll just notice that and try my best to release any muscles that don't need to be tense. Breathing deeper into my abdomen, allowing my emotions to flow as I breathe. I might feel a bit of anticipation for each moment, wondering what's coming next in my mind. And I'll notice that. Notice any dialogues that come up with my emotions or images. And if you don't have anything in particular, any emotion in particular, right now we can try a practice of imagining something that makes you happy. Could be a person, could be a place, could be an object, could be an animal, could be food, anything that makes you smile inside. And just notice where that emotion sits in your body. Sometimes my emotions resonate in my face. I'm feeling more joy as I sit here meditating with you. And I'll notice that. And it resonates in my face with a smile. And notice anything that makes you Smile inside or on the outside. Just think about a person, a place, a thing, food. Food really lately has been making me happy. <laughs> so I like to think about food. <laughs> Maybe my favorite foods. I'll just notice that. Notice the sensations of any emotion now that comes up. You don't have to try to create anything. Now just notice what's there, being open to anything. I'm still feeling the joy from thinking about things that I like, positive things. You'll notice that. And now I'll notice something that maybe makes me feel neutral, a neutral emotion. Maybe it's hard to think of things that make me feel a pen. Pens make me feel quite neutral, but that might not be the same thing for you. Some people might have different associations with different objects. Pens make me feel kind of neutral, especially the like Bic pens. They're quite not, I don't even, uh, they just make me feel neutral. Maybe a little bit irked even. <laughs> and that's okay, I'll just notice that. They always run out on me. And I'll just notice that thought pattern. Almost all of our thoughts come with emotions.
And I'll notice, again, the anticipation of what's coming next in my mind. And the analysis of the emotions. And just bring my awareness back to being open to any emotions that come and go. And then I'll bring my awareness to something that makes me feel negative maybe sad or angry. Just notice anything in your mind that makes you feel angry, sad, frustrated. Nothing too extreme. Just think of something that brings to mind a slight frustration or a slight irritability or anger or sadness and just notice that. Notice where it manifests in your body. Notice if it's hard to face. Notice where you feel it in your body, the anger or frustration or sadness. For me, I'm thinking of just this past two years I've been ill and it, it was very sad. That might be a bit too much <laughs> to think about and that's okay if you accidentally pick something too big like I do. <laughs> it just it tends to be the first thing that comes to mind. So I'll just notice that. And notice where the sadness manifests. I feel it behind my eyes. Some tears maybe creeping in. Just a little bit of pressure. Thinking about how hard it was to go through two years of disability. And then where that goes in my mind is thinking about people who go through longer. And I'll just notice where that sadness manifests in my chest and in my throat. My heart kind of aches a little bit in sadness. I feel it in my chest, this tightness. And I'll just breathe into it and accept that sensation knowing that I'm safe now, and that I'm not in pain anymore, and that the sadness that I feel is okay. It's okay to feel sadness. It's okay to feel anger. It's okay to feel frustration, agitation. Anything that is a negative emotion, it's okay. You can sit with it, accept it, even be curious about it. What does it feel like to be sad? What does it feel like to feel anger, to feel agitation in the exact moment that you're feeling it? Sometimes it makes me feel a bit dizzy, a bit lightheaded. <clears throat> anger comes up, many things, sometimes emotions, negative emotions can sort of snowball in a way. And if you notice that happening, that you're running through dialogues of negative things or it's getting too much, you can pull back and just think about something that's neutral or that makes you happy. Like food, again. <laughs> food just makes me so happy. And I'll think about that. Think about the foods that I love that just make me feel good. 
or the people in my life that make me feel good. There's so many friends that I have that support me. And I'll notice that and be grateful and notice the gratitude that I feel for the people in, the in my life that love me and make me feel good. And just sit with it for a few moments. And notice how quick it was for me at least to switch to a happy sensation or thought, even when I was thinking about something sad before. And notice how profound that is. Thinking about loved ones, instead of dwelling on the past, changes my mood, my emotions. And I'll allow, I'll allow that to be. Just notice that right now. Sometimes it's not so easy to just do that. And that's okay. Sometimes it is. Just turning our mind to something more positive. When we notice our negative thoughts. Becoming overwhelming. Positive, negative, or neutral, just notice any emotions that come and go in your mind right now and in your body. And notice that they manifest in both. Both your mind and your body experience emotion almost at the exact same time. Sometimes your body feels the emotion before your mind. And just notice that. And again, just noticing whatever emotion is present right now. And allowing each moment to unfold and change each emotion that you experience. They often don't stay the same. And that's okay. Exploring your emotions can be overwhelming. If it's overwhelming, just notice the overwhelming sensation. What does it feel like to be overwhelmed? What does it feel like to have resistance to a sensation? And notice if there's any noises or things in your awareness that are also present. And we can just take a break on emotions and just be aware of anything that comes and goes in your mind and in your awareness. Again, it can be positive or negative or neutral. It could be your breath, it could be your body, could be your thoughts, 
could be your emotions, whatever is coming and going in your mind. Just be aware of whatever you are recognizing in the present moment. And I'll just notice anything that comes and goes in my awareness right now. <clears throat> without judgment, without expectation, with just awareness, just watching. I'm noticing the garbage truck outside, it's making a lot of noise. And I'm grateful for the garbage men to take away all the trash. <laughs> so I'll notice that gratitude. And I'll notice any other thoughts or dialogues or sensations that come into my awareness. And now that we've been meditating for over 20 minutes, we can stop meditating and go back to our busy day. I hope you enjoyed this meditation. Come back for more. I'll be here again at 12.30 tomorrow for day 10 of my meditation series. I'm super excited for day 10. 12.30 tomorrow on Instagram. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.